Hey guys and welcome to another video with Buck's small engine DIY. I'm Buck Weezer. We're putting the do in the do-it-yourself and uh, been doing a lot of projects for others and today I want to get started on a project of my own. This is a tractor that I got recently and I'm really excited to uh, dive into it here. It's a 1990 Wheel Horse 520H and uh, garden tractor. I know this one's from 1990. They made these starting in 1988 and I don't know when they discontinued it. Wheel Horse was owned by Toro at, at that point. And it's a garden tractor that I got actually from my nephew. We kind of did a, a trade. This was his and he just wanted something simpler to mow his lawn. Uh, we did a we did a video a little bit ago on a simplicity regent and I had fixed that up with a 38 inch cutting deck so I traded them and uh, don't tell him but I think I got the better end of the deal he's not really into tinkering with tractors like I am he just wants something to mow the grass so uh, this is pretty exciting for me and I haven't I've had it for a week or so and it's just been sitting here and I wanted to get started on it I know it's been kept outside in the elements for a while, um, unfortunately, but it looks to be in pretty good shape, a little bit dirty. Some parts of it appear to have been repainted, like with a brush. I can see that as I look close at some of the paint, which is okay. See these tail lights? They, they look to me like uh, Harbor Freight Specials right there. And... Uh, it's got a 20 horsepower Onan engine, horizontal shaft, and this is the PTO, which is kind of interesting to me. So, uh, that spins freely until you engage it with this here. And then it's engaged, and you've got an outer pulley or an inner pulley, depending on what implement you happen to be using. Now, I don't have them with me. I, I have to go back to my nephew's place and pick them up. But this came, also comes with, uh, I think it's a 42-inch cutting deck. It might be 48 mower. It also has a snow blower and a plow. I just couldn't c to bring all of those implements with me. So I'll be getting them eventually. So I guess my goal today is just start fiddling around and see if I can get it running. I, I think it ran a year ago or so. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot that we have to do. It's the hitch. Uh, pretty cool. I want to drain the old gas, get that out of there. I looked at the oil and it's kind of overfilled, so I want to give it an oil change. I think the battery is is uh, depleted. I don't know if um, date code on that side of the battery is 418. This we, it might be able to recuperate itself if we put it on the charger, clean these connections. Yeah, just want to start having a little fun with it on my own. I think the H in 520, 520 H is hydrostatic. It's got a hydrostatic transmission. So it's pretty cool. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, take this battery out and put it on the charger. It replace that fuel filter easy enough. Um, yeah, and just get started. And I thought it might be fun to uh, share this with all of you. I mean, I've never had a tractor with armrest before. Pretty exciting. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we got the battery on the charger. It, it measured 2.5 volts. All right, so it's charging there, putting out 14.68. Topped off a few of the cells with some distilled water. And uh, we'll give it a little time and see what happens. 
Well, I want to drain the old fuel. And I think the easiest way to do that is just disconnect this hose here at the base, here at the back. It's fairly easy to access. It's got a valve. So maybe if I shut that first, assuming it works, quarter inch nut driver for the clamp. Let me if I can get this hose off. Not bad. And then we can open the valve. It's got a fuel gauge on the dash, so these wires here probably are part of that. Not entirely sure. And I don't know if the gauge works, but I don't know how old this fuel is. I'd rather start with something clean. So we'll let that drain. Before we add some clean stuff. All right, well the battery's still on the charger and in the meantime, I've been cleaning up some of these connections. Um, including down here at the starter and the starter solenoid and oh in here I don't know if you can see it but down there some ground wires that are bolted to the tractor frame I took that off and cleaned them off want to make sure I get in good connection and the battery the battery cable for the negative comes down and bolts under here and I took that this off at this engine mount clean that up want to make sure I'm getting good electrical electrical connections so while, I, while we're doing that I need to take stock of some of the maintenance parts that I need took off the I took a look at the spark plugs and it's a I'm going to have to order some because it's a champion spark plug that I don't have. RS17YX. And that's what it has on both cylinders. So I assume that's correct. I can look it up, but I don't have any of those on hand. And now I'm just going to pop off this air cleaner. Give him a look. So we got a filter. Probably time to change him out. It's a part number on there. Stens 100-149. That's good to know. I'd like to order one of those. Surprised it doesn't have some kind of foam element around it. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of dusty in here. So I'd like to take off this intake assembly and clean that out. A look down the throat of the carburetor though it looks nice and clean. That's cool. And yeah I'll have to order some some tune-up parts, spark plugs, oil filter, and fuel filter. I don't know if it's anything special about that but don't worry. I'll do that on my own time, not yours. And uh, we'll keep going on our maintenance here. All right, we're back again with the Wheel Horse 520H. And happily, I think my battery has recuperated itself after being on the charger for a while. So I'm reading 12.65 volts. And uh, it's been actually sitting off the charger for over, over 24 hours. So I feel like that's great won't have to buy a new battery and uh, save myself a little money that way and then I wanted to show you that I gave up on the idea of taking off this cover 
and I'm thinking here on changing the oil and it's just awkward. Nothing I can do about that. So here's the filter and then you can see down in there the drain is covered. You know it's just a mess. So I'll have to figure out a way to try to drain that uh, without making too much of a mess. And I'm thinking I might be able to put a 90 degree turn on the end of that pipe and, and uh, you know, just kind of turn it out. Just kind of turn it out this way. Not, not so far that it interferes with the brake pedal, but just so you can get off this tractor frame and have an easier oil change option. So let's get going on that next. All right, let's see if this is going to work. I've got a piece of cardboard here with the hopes that I might be able to open that drain plug and divert the oil this way. If I fail, then I'll have a mess on my hand. But it's kind of how it was either way, right? nothing okay looks like it's working kind of not great this is running on both sides of the cardboard so It's just kind of a bad design, in my humble opinion. But I'm gonna see if I have an elbow. I could put an elbow and a couple inch piece of pipe to get it out here this way. And that would be the last time we have a problem with this. All right, I wonder how much trouble it'll be to get this filter off. Probably need a wrench. All right. Okay. There's the filter. He's got this tray here for dripping off, but still a bit of a mess. You can see back in there, which is good. Just in terms of oil changes, this one hasn't is not the easiest that they're that they've made. We'll manage. I think I'm about to get rained on, which is honestly very frustrating because it's been brilliantly sunny and hot all day. And as soon as I come out here, it clouds over. Now that filter works, but it's a little bit shorter than the other, which is gonna make it a little bit harder to get a wrench on when I go to take it off. I actually can't get it on as tight as I need to. So I need to try to get a wrench on it. Um, it's not the Onan filter, it's a Stens replacement, but it's supposed to be the correct one. Yeah, so I got a, uh, a 3 8 pipe and the, the drain tube sits up high enough that I can thread this elbow onto it. Bring it around a little bit further and put on this four inch nipple and 
are difficult oil changes maybe a thing of the past but that last 90 degrees may be a bit tricky something like that all right I almost wonder if I could give it another I'm afraid it would be too hard to give it another revolution so we're just gonna leave it like that if I put this guy on and then the cap will that interfere with our brake pedal okay this part here almost hits our pipe I could, uh, but I think that's it. It's all the travel it takes. Now, if I, I, if I want to go come, I could come back with a shorter one. We only need to come out just a little bit past the tractor frame, which we've definitely done. So even a two incher would be good enough. But for now, I'm just gonna tighten this guy down and we'll leave it at that. All right, well, you get the idea. I think this is going to be better to clean up that tractor frame and add some clean oil and we'll be good to go. Okay guys, we are moving along here. I replaced that fuel pump. I'd broken the previous one, so I got a new one. He's mounted and ready to go. Our battery's installed and hooked up. I'm still waiting on the spark plugs, but I want to see if I can fire this up now even you know I'll, get, I'll put the new spark plugs in when they come i don't think that should be a, an impediment at this point so we need to add some fuel and uh and we'll see if it'll crank up for us Okay, so I think we're about ready here. Now remember, these fuel lines are completely empty at this point. Carburetor bowl is likely completely dry. And uh, I think we're gonna give it a little bit of a head start with some starting fluid directly into the carburetor. I think we're ready. Let's see what other surprises await us. Interesting, I got an oil pressure light blinking on the dash. Dude, dude, I am getting some fuel here in the filter, so the pump's working. Hi. Hi. Are you making a video? That's okay. Prime it again with the little starting fluid. All right. So it appears 
we're only running so far on the starting fluid. there. I uh, think we may be looking at a little bit of carburetor work. At first it only wanted to run on choke and uh, then we did get it to run with the choke plate wide open but it's kind of surging. So let's progress. I don't have any idea. <coughs> What it was like last time it ran but uh maybe we have some carburetor work in front of us but that's good we're making excellent progress and uh we'll get this guy back in ship shape in no time progress but running running uh, just there I had the uh, I had the choke plate pretty much fully closed so I gotta do some carburetor uh, work and uh, but that's all right we're making progress that's good
Hey guys, it's running so much better. I was able to take this carburetor apart without removing it from the tractor. In fact, I and I didn't film it and now I regret that I didn't. But I was able to take off the the top of the carburetor and get access to all the jets that needed to be cleaned out and I didn't have to take the entire carburetor off the manifold, which would have been a hard job. So basically, one, two nuts, and I released the uh, joke cable. And then one, two, three, four Phillips head screws, and the top came off. And I had access to, uh, to clean out that carburetor and the jets. The one is connected to the top of this, that when you pull it off, the other with a small screwdriver, I could take it out, clean that out, put it all back together, 15 minute job, and you just heard it running smooth um, with the choke plate wide open as I tried to show you. So that, that was a quick and easy carb clean job that I wished I had filmed, but whatever, it wasn't a big deal. So yeah. That's, that's great. Happy with that. All right. Well, I think it's time to wrap up this video. I hope to do more on this uh, wheel horse. Some things that I know I want to do is I want to uh, service it to hydrostatic transaxle. And that will be topic of a future video I guess but I got it running fairly fairly decently got a few more things that I want to do I'll be getting the the implements including the cutting deck so I hope to be able to mow with it just ran it around the yard for the last 10 minutes and it it, it did a great job so it's 32 years old and those are some of the steps that I follow in trying to get going bring back into service an old tractor that hasn't been used in a while. So I thank you for watching and kind of coming along with me on this project and uh, Love to hear your comments and questions uh, in the discussion below um, I'll look forward to seeing you all on our next video It's getting kind of dark Gotta call it a, call it a day. See you next time. Bye